The word is spreading. Because we're stronger than the storm. You bet we are. Hey guys, Brock from Jig Airsoft here. At uh, Jersey Shore in Manilokin, New Jersey. street. All that was just destroyed and uh, it's been exactly 250 days since the storm. It's, I mean, you know, it's really, it's really insane that it's still like this and, you know, you got all the people saying like restore the shore and stuff and, I mean, Seaside and Point Pleasant, they're actually pretty good right now, but uh, all the all the houses and towns in between those two, uh, like Seaside and Point Pleasant, all the houses in between, are, I mean, it's just like this. This street right here, my street, Jeanette Drive, was actually one of the worst affected streets on the shore. I mean, besides Camp Osborne down there, that literally burned to the ground. Thousands of homes just burned to the ground over there. But right here, it's just, it's really insane just how it's been 250 days since the storm and not a single thing has been done here. All they've done is cleaned up the roads and stuff, but you know, it's just really insane. But now I got some construction workers coming over here and you know, they're trying to clean up the beaches too, but I don't know, 250 days since the storm and still nothing has really been done. So. That's seaside all the way over there. Hey guys. Oh. This is my house. What's left of it. I'm pretty sure they demoed it either yesterday or earlier today. I uh, didn't get down here in time. Uh, hit a lot of traffic on the parkway. But, uh, yeah, this is the house. Uh, from what I've heard, copper piping from all these houses over here has been stolen. Uh, people just stealing stuff. Uh, it's just been really bad. That's my neighbor. I'll bring it closer. So yeah, this is my house. Um, all the copper piping and copper wires all gone. People, uh, I guess, thought it'd be cool to loot all this stuff. This chair right here. My grandma sat in that chair every night. I don't even know what that is. Eggs. And that music over there, that's uh, my neighbor. His name is Nick Spina. He um, he actually survived the storm down here. He uh, 
he stayed in his house even though the government told him not to well Christy told him not to uh, he was staying behind and the night of the storm the sea level were obviously rose and came over the dune over there came down here and it was going above his house so he went to this to the next door house over there and he went in the attic and saw everything happen he saw all the houses come down the street he saw my house get destroyed he saw this big house right over here that was a lot a lot a lot further that way really close to the beach and he saw that drift all the way down the street it drifted about drifted about 75 to 100 yards down the, down uh, the street and also it's called uh, Jeanette Drive in Maniloka, New Jersey. Um, yeah, so I mean, got, I just wanted to inform you guys that like what you see on TV and stuff, like with all Seaside is restored and you know, Point Pleasant is restored and all the other boardwalks are ready, you still got everything in between that hasn't been touched. I mean, like I said before, they just demoed this either today, earlier today, or yesterday. And uh, they didn't even tell us that they were demoing it too. So it's really incredible. But he still playing his music over there. He, his house did survive. He fixed it all the past like couple months. He's been working on it, and he finally got it back up and running. But yeah, everything here, it's just insane that it's still like this. And a lot of people don't understand that this is still going on. A lot of people just forgot about Sandy and just left it. But this is still what it's like. It hasn't changed a bit. 250 days after the storm and it's still like this. Uh, so again, I I just wanted to show this to you guys because the media out there, they're all saying that it's, it's restored and stuff, but it's not. So uh, I'm gonna take a drive down to Seaside right now. I'll show you guys a little bit of that. Um, but otherwise, it's just been like this. So, for all you guys that aren't in Jersey and you didn't know about this stuff, now you guys really know that all this stuff is just destroyed. I'll give you a 360 look around here. That's my dresser right there. All this is left in my house. You got Route 35 over there and the church. And you got a bunch of other stuff. That's uh, Nick's house right there, and he stayed in that house in, in uh, sorry, right there in that attic. This is the big house that floated down our street and hit mine and destroyed mine, and those are my neighbors. And all the way down there is the big dune and the beach. And then you come back around, and you're here. So, thanks for watching, guys. I, uh, you know, really appreciate it. Um, try to share this video, let everybody know that the shore is still not restored and we need every little bit of help that we can get. So please go to RestoreTheShore.com or I'll just put a bunch of links below, Red Cross, all that stuff. I'll, I'll just give you guys links. Thanks for watching. Brian from Jake Airsoft. Have a good one.